Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, NYC Einstein from the floor of New York Stock Exchange. Kind of a fascinating day today. Market open, kind of weak. There's a lot on the table here. It is the end of the month. It is the end of the quarter. Uh, we've had rebalances, the S&P. We've had the Russell. A lot of moving money moving around. We've had a big, massive pension fund rebalance. I've been talking about it for days. Inside First Off, NYC Einstein from the floor of New York Stock Exchange. There's really not that much to say. We have, so we've seen probably eight out of 11 days been sellish. Every sell side sort of been buffed up by a reasonable bid in the marketplace. Uh, you know, the tariff thing and the trade wars seems to be the only thing that's continuously cracking the market. But it's funny, once people's attention gets diverted from that, the market seems sort of solid. So the Russell closed back up. We've had a number of days where the Russell was down 20 handles, the S&P down 30 handles. That trend has abated for the moment. Today we're up five in the Russell, spiders are back up 17 handles. The transports have been under a lot of pressure and I kind of believe that is because we've seen a massive 10 to 12% rally non-stop straight up in oil ever since it broke down to that 64 and a half, 65 level and the OPEC meeting, which said that they were gonna restrict production by a million barrels, which is obviously an underestimate of what the street thought, because they had pounded it pretty hard. So we're on our way back up to 75, it feels like. 73 and a quarter is an outrageous valuation on oil at the present time, and that has driven the transports down, possibly affected driven the Dow and industrials up. Rebound in the FANG. So the last couple of things, the transports have dragged us down, the trade and tariff wars have dragged us down, and the reversal in tech sector. So basically it feels like they've been selling the outperformers, buying under the performers, selling equities, getting back into fixed income to close out the, the month, close out the quarter, close out the half. So that's basically where we're at. We're here with Kenny Paul Carey. Come on in, come and say hi. We're here with Kramer. Kramer, it's the Mike Douglas Show. Hey, how you doing? Thanks for coming in today. You've been it's on fire today. It's always a pleasure. What do you think about the market? I have been on Tell fire everybody. I actually All right, did. thanks for talking. So nice to hear from you. And another thing, where's George Costanza? Uh, <laughs> thanks for all that. They are going to be, they're going to be hanging on every one of those words you said. Kelly Paul Carey, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't get better than that. He hasn't been seen on TV since the Mike Douglas Show. Anyway. Um, all that being said, that's about all I got. I got some levity, I got some humor in the day. The Dow closed up, there was a lot of green for 24-2 again. For those of you who want to paint a negative narrative, I think you got to really search for it. Market seems solid. Gold has sort of been weak. That's absolutely going nowhere. Oil up, Dow up, Russell up, spies up. We're coming into the end. Last day of the trading month tomorrow, coming into the long weekend, July 4th. Money shifting hands inside. Volume 800, sort of weakish. Tomorrow's going to be a big day. Today was not that significant. Although, if you look at the day, we were weak in the morning, and the market drifted nowhere but higher. The path of least resistance is up. Stick with me inside Verstoff. And where I see Einstein, I'll see you tomorrow.